Scott Moe is Saskatchewan's Premier. He's with me live right now. Premier Moe, good to see you. Thank you very much for making the time. Yeah, thank you, Vashi. I think we have a bit of a delay, so, so my apologies to the audience. I just I want to start off on oh. the threat that you made in that video, <laughs> in the video that you posted today, uh, to stop collecting the carbon tax on natural gas, to kind of trust Sask Energy to do that as of January 1st if Saskatchewan isn't able to secure the same kind of carve-outs that the Prime Minister made available last week to home heating oil. I'm wondering if there, you know, you've admitted that that might be illegal. Is there not a more prudent way to go about that, maybe discussing this one-on-one -on -one with the Prime Minister before making that kind of threat? Yeah, well, we believe actually, uh, first and foremost, that the carbon tax scheme should be uh, removed from, from everyone uh, on everything. Um, second to that, what we would ask the federal government and what we are asking the federal government to do is to, uh, to make, make it consistent across the nation. If you're going to remove it from uh, heating sources in Atlantic Canada, to do that across the nation, including for families here in Saskatchewan. Um, last but not least, if the federal government is not willing to do that, um, through discussion with myself or our relevant ministers, ministers in our province, uh, then we will take action in, in Saskatchewan where Sask Energy will terminate, they will quit collecting the carbon tax on, on January the 1st. And really what this is, it's about fairness for families, uh, for Canadian families regardless of where you live in the nation. And, and certainly Premier, I understand the concerns that you're talking about. I can only imagine being someone who heats my home in, in the western provinces uh, through natural gas and listening to that announcement last week. But, with, with great respect, threatening to do something that you know isn't legal, that could have greater ramifications, that could set a very slippery slope. What if the federal government says all of a sudden, we're going to stop collecting any kind of income taxes on, on Saskatchewan's behalf? Like, is that really the best move for the federation? Well, is that in the best interest of, of Saskatchewan people or Canadians? I think is the question that you need to ask. And uh, we, we have uh, always felt that this uh, carbon tax scheme has been the wrong policy, uh, but it has been enacted uh, to some degree moderately fairly across the nation, maybe with the exception of Quebec. Um, today, what we're seeing uh, with the government's uh, turn uh, in, uh, on, on home heating oil in Atlantic Canada is that not only is this the wrong policy uh, yet today, uh, but now it's being enacted unfairly across Canada and so uh, what we are bringing back to this discussion uh, most certainly is, is fairness uh, to Saskatchewan families uh, in Saskatchewan we're facing affordability challenges at the at the family household level like every other Canadian 40% of our natural gas bills are from the carbon tax um, and so this will be a substantial discount for Saskatchewan families um, what we're asking the federal government to do is is to uh, to, to, to move the, to take the policy that they've enacted primarily and predominantly in Atlantic Canada and make it consistent across the nation. It is, um, as I said, it's, it's the wrong policy, uh, but it has has traditionally been fairly implemented. Uh, today, it's being unfairly implemented, and what we're asking the federal government to do is to uh, to make it fair, make it consistent for all Canadian families. I think that with the pause for Atlantic Canada, part of what the federal government is aiming to address is that because they are so reliant on heating oil there and the charge is more, let's say 17 cents extra per litre versus 12 cents per cubic metre of natural gas, that they were being disproportionately affected. So they've simply put a pause until there's an alternative more readily available. Saskatchewan, I take your point about you not liking the policy, but there is a rebate that um, people in Saskatchewan get back, about $1,300, $1,360 a year right now. It, it's not like they're at a total disadvantage. If, 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 the, if the rebate is larger than what, uh, what residents of Canada are paying, then there should be no affordability challenge. In each area of the nation, uh, when this carbon tax scheme is being applied, uh, we all have uh, different challenges with how we are unfairly uh, being charged. Uh, in Atlantic Canada, it may be on home heating oil. In other areas of Canada, it may be on the source uh, of where we are finding uh, our, and, and making our, or generating our electricity from. Um, and so uh, the, 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 the entire policy, uh, we feel, is 
we said, is, is, is a wrong-headed policy. It's not a, a policy that is uh, fair to Canadians. Um, if it's affordability that is the issue, it's the federal government has always said that Canadians are receiving more, having more money returned to them uh, than they are actually paying. So if that uh, really is a myth. Um, and secondarily to that, if the policy is actually there to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and needs to be applied across uh, the nation, whether it's for on coal-fired or natural gas power in Saskatchewan, or whether it's on home heating oil in, in Atlantic Canada, um, then that has to be the policy. You can't start carving out exceptions in one area versus another. Um, that's what we've seen the federal government do. And now we're asking the federal government, uh, if you are going to make it more affordable for one area of Canada and for one uh, segment of Canadians, uh, then you need to make it more affordable for all Canadians or the provinces will step in and ensure that that is the case. Again though I circle back to the threat that you're making about what you're prepared to do in the absence of that. Is it is it simply good optics for you to have a public fight with the federal government over this? Is there not a way to reach a better conclusion for Saskatonians outside of threatening to do something that you know is illegal? Yeah. Listen, Saskatchewan most certainly, and myself, we don't need another fight with the federal government. We have uh, numerous topics uh, of, of which we disagree on, and so this is nothing to do about fighting with the federal government. This is about fairness for Saskatchewan families. Uh, what we are seeing is a significant reduction in what the carbon uh, in the carbon tax that Atlantic Canadian families are paying, and we're asking for the same 40% reduction off our natural gas bills in Saskatchewan. We would ask it be extended to those that are utilizing propane, often throughout our north. Uh, north northern uh, indigenous uh, communities, as well as electric heat, uh, in the cases where we have communities that are using electric heat as well. And so uh, what we are asking in our primary ask here today uh, is for the federal government to extend uh, their, their pause to all to all heating sources. Um, if they don't, um, the province is going to take action to equalize um, the, the playing field, at least for Saskatchewan residents. And that would be most unfortunate if, if we are forced uh, to, to do something like that because it ultimately only benefits Saskatchewan residents where the federal government has the ability to benefit all Canadians. Okay, Premier Mo, I'll leave it there. I appreciate your time this evening. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you, Vashi.